In this session, we'll be discussing about the another kingdom called Protesta. Now, if you remember, I've already told you that Protesta are the group of unicellular eukaryotes. What we have already discussed about Kingdom Monera, they were also the group of unicellular, but all of them were prokaryotes. Here we'll be talking about all these Protesta members. Those are unicellular. Apart from being unicellular, they are eukaryotes. And when they are eukaryotes, they will have well-defined nucleus, ATS ribosomes, and all those membrane-bound organelles which were not present in prokaryotes. Now, if you can look about this particular kingdom, say Kingdom Protesta, if you can find, this term was given by Ernst Haeckel. If you remember, there were two kingdom classification system, which was given by Linnaeus. And there were some odd organisms placed in Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. Who came forward was Ernst Haeckel, who removed the odd members from Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia and placed them in a different kingdom called Kingdom Protesta. And that's how he became the person who, gave, who coined the term called Kingdom Protesta. If you can talk about this particular kingdom, they are unicellular and what were unicellular were Kingdom Monera members. They are eukaryotes and what are eukaryotes is Kingdom Plantae, Kingdom Fungus and Kingdom Animalia. So they share something with Kingdom Monera and they also share something with all other three kingdoms. So they are called the link between Monera and other three kingdoms. Since they are sharing some boundaries with what you call Kingdom Monera, they are also sharing some boundaries with fungus, animals and plantae. So the boundaries of this particular kingdom are not well defined. Now always remember this particular statement which was one among the exams that boundaries of which particular kingdom are not well defined. Your answer will come as Kingdom Protesta. They are the group of all unicellular eukaryotes. You can see there are some Protesta members out here in the slide. Now if we can talk about general characters of Protesta members, they are mostly aquatic. Now they are present in most, most of the aquatic system. If we can talk about aquatic system, we see three different types of aquatic system. One are, one are marine, another could be brackish water and third could be fresh water. We must be knowing about fresh water and marine water. Now marine water is pretty saline, it is highly saline. Fresh water is comparatively very less saline. And brackish water is what is the water, it comes in between the salt, salt water, I mean the marine water and the fresh water. So brackish water has got less salinity than marine water and more salinity than fresh water. If you can talk about, I have told you because they are eukaryotes, so they will have membrane bound organelles. They can have mitochondria. If they are photosynthetic, they will also have chloroplast. They have ribosomes and ribosomes will be ATS ribosomes because ATS ribosomes is the feature of eukaryotes. What was present in Kingdom Monera was 70S ribosomes. So these particular members will have 80S ribosomes. If I have told you, you will remember that some of these members will have cell wall. And if they have cell wall, the cell wall is always made up of cellulose. In Kingdom Monera, the cell wall was made up of peptidoglycan. You keep remembering all these facts because, you know, the cell wall is making the different type of features in all kingdoms. So cell wall, if present in some members of Protista, it is always made up of cellulose. There are different sort of mode of locomotion. If you remember in Kingdom Monera, there were flagella to move or they were moving either with the help of gliding. They have cilia, they have flagella, pseudopodia or they can even move by metaboly. Now metaboly is where the cytoplasm, the contract, it contracts and thereafter it relaxes. The cytoplasm is contracting, relaxing, contracting, relaxing. And that is how a particular protista member is moving. The reproduction here is zygotic meiosis or gametic meiosis. Both of these words we'll be detailing you about in the next session. So in next session, we'll be starting with types of protista.